Once upon a time, there were Yanorang and Seonya couple in a village by the sea. Yanorang was a fisherman and he went to the seaside for fishing every day. Seonya wove texture waiting for Yanorang. Her texture was well known for its quality. As they were very indecent, they loved each other. One day, Yanorang dreamed another dream. In the dream, he caught a big fish on a rock that looks like a turtle shell. Woke up from dream, he went fishing and he had the premonition of good luck. When he reached the seaside, he saw the rock which he had seen in his dream. He began to fish on the rock immediately. However, he couldn't catch any fish for a long time. He started to note. Then, the rock on which Yonorang was fishing began to move. The rock drifted away with knowing Yonorang. He was surprised when he woke up. He was surrounded with a bunch of unfamiliar people. It was that he arrived at an isolated island. The island people were surprised too because a halo was shining above Yonorang's head. The people took him to their village. Actually, there were neither the sun nor the moon. The island people had lived in dark before Yonoran came. Yonoran shined on the island and ruled over the people. However, Seonya was waiting for Yonoran. She cried all day. One day, Seonya stood by the seashore crying a lot. Just then, the rock she was standing on started to move. She was surprised but she couldn't stop it. Seonya drifted away and reached to a village. The village people gave a deep bow to her and took her to their king. When Seonyo saw the king, she started to cry. The king was her husband, Yanorang. They hugged each other. They became a king and a queen. On the other hand, the country where Yanorang and Seonyo had left had a disturbance. Yanorang and Seonyo were not normal humans. They were the sun and the moon. The country they had left lost the sun and the moon. The country found out that their sun and moon were in the neighbor island and decided to take them back. Finally, they found Yanorang and Seonyo in neighbor island. Yanorang and Seonyo, after you two had left our country, we are left in darkness. Please come back and shine on us. Yanorang and Seonya felt sorrowful, but they had to go on the island. They got in a dilemma. However, Seonya had a good idea. Seonya started to weave silks quickly. Clear sunlight silks and pure moonlight silks. Take these silks and hang it high on the shrine. Then there will be the sun and the moon. Said Seonya, giving them the six. They took them and hung the six on the shrine. Just then, the sun and the moon started to shine. At last, the seaside country and the island had both the sun and the moon. And Yanorang and Seonya lived long happily, governing the island wisely.